me make sure we're live. Hello, everybody. Cool, once it starts counting, then I at least know we're on. Perfect, good, hi. Good morning, happy Tuesday, everyone. Maybe I can adjust this up just a little bit. We have a really awesome workout today. We're gonna do some home office exercises, workouts you can do right from home to relieve the back, strengthen the back, and just overall like strengthening the core and this whole section, our trunk here, because that's really gonna be super powerful um, in our overall strength in our bodies, um, but also really important when we experience, you know, maybe some low back discomfort, hip pain, knee aches, and things like that. It's generally from just lack of strengthening that low back and the core as a whole. So I'm really excited to be your guide today through this workout. My name is London Souza. I am a fitness and lifestyle transformation coach working mainly online with people all over the world who are looking to get their mind right, their body tight, and love their life and go from crazy busy to crazy happy. And so today we have a great back workout for a strong and happy back that you can do. Um, I've kind of broken up this workout into the first few exercises we're gonna do are really things you can do periodically throughout the day. So you can get up throughout your home office day um, while you're sitting hard at work at your computer, at your desk or whatever. You can get up and do these exercises that we're gonna do right at the beginning. You can do those, yeah, throughout the day. In fact, I encourage it, I highly recommend it. Get moving, do as much movement as you can, especially throughout the day, not just feeling like you do something in the morning, you know, now and then you don't need to do anything for the rest of the day. It's important to get up and continuously move our bodies for sure. So some moves we're gonna have for that and we're gonna do them today together. And then we also have some other moves that are more like, yeah, maybe it's when you have a break to do a workout, you'll need you know, some more time for these moves and just a little bit of equipment, but nonetheless, we're gonna do this all together now and then you can pick and choose which moves you incorporate into your more moving at home office routine because all you need is a chair so I'm assuming you have a chair. We're at home, we all have a chair of one form or another. You can use a chair, you can even use like your couch or something if you wanted to as well. And then um, I have a jar of honey today. So you'll need something for a little bit of added resistance. You can use canned food, canned beans, coconut milk, soup, whatever. I'm gonna use honey, okay? I'm gonna use some honey. And then your mat. Um, it'll be nice to have your mat for some exercises some water nearby, some water nearby. We're gonna get started, okay? All right, so we're gonna get started with our back workout, starting with a warm up a little bit here. So these first uh, couple moves or few moves I'm gonna show you are things, like I said, go after it every day, often, periodically throughout the day, don't just move once and think that you're done, okay? If that's, if that's the main message I give away today, that's what I want us to think about. So let's stand at the um, back of our chair. So the reason why I have the back is because we want something that's a little bit taller here, okay? Everybody is gonna be different, but let's do something a little bit taller. So having the back of the chair. And then let's step it back and come over and open up the back, the shoulders, Yes, kind of coming into a fold there with our arms up and then walk all the way back up to the chair. Step it back, reach it forward, press your palms into the chair, drop the armpits, bend the knees. Yeah, and slowly coming all the way back up. Yes, step it back, opening up, working within your flexibility and your range of motion is important, okay? Breathe it out. You can do this move anytime. Anytime throughout the day. And let's do like three more. Three more, okay? Good. 
And last one, walking it back. And then slowly coming up to start. Okay, now we're gonna do a figure four stretch. So we're gonna step one foot. So my left foot is, over, is going over my right knee. Actually, I have to step back a little bit. Um, cross it over and then sit down, stretching the left glute, the left hip, and then coming up to a standing position, release the leg, switch to the other side. Cross it over, sit back, stand it up, and release. You can go at a tempo that feels good for you, but stretching dynamically here. Yes, so good. Alternating side to side. And let's do one more each side. Yes, and relax. Cool. Now standing at the side of the chair, we're just going to do, maybe I can turn a little bit this way so you guys can see, but I think you get the picture. We're just going to do some front to back kicks. Opening up the hips, activating the glutes, opening up this part of our body here because you know when we're sitting and then our hips are always flexed like this, so they're shortened, right? And then we get up and we do all these things and we're not working in this range of motion here. You know, our hips can get really tight and they need exercises and movements to really open them up, wake them up. This can cause tight hips is, a, is actually a really common reason for back pain and back discomfort. Having tight hips and then the back has to work harder. And relax. Let's do the other side. Other side. Watch my honey. <laughs> Here we go. Kick it forward and back. And whatever your range of motion really is, you know, you want to keep your toe towards the ground and not like open up the hip here. So even if you're just going like this, like that's totally cool. Totally cool. Front, back, front, back. <sighs> Opening up those hips, like I said. Tight hips, shortened hips can lead to lower back pain, you know, knee discomfort. So it's really important that we Think about that and understand that. A few more. And relax, shake it out. So getting up to do any and all of those moves throughout the day is gonna be so awesome, so powerful for your body. A great way to get some relief and strengthening and then also generate some energy throughout your home office, right? It's easy to get kind of low energy when we're sitting there. So getting up and generating some energy with some movement is gonna be awesome too. So now we're gonna check in on our posture a little bit. So just stand. Right? Oftentimes we stand with this kind of low back arch. We feel like, oh, I have some discomfort in my back. Maybe you feel a little bit of tension. Let's tuck our hips under. Let's really try to do our best to flatten out that low back and feel how that feels. So you might be used to standing, you know, something like this. So tuck your hips under. Activate your lower abdominals. Squeeze the glutes, activate the glutes, flatten out that lower back. And I want you guys to think about this today when we do some of our plank-based exercises and our plank moves, is that when we're holding a plank, sometimes we do that too, and we get a back arch and we say, oh, you know, this hurts my back, this is not, you know, feeling good, but actually when we tuck those hips under and really flatten out that low back, you feel that even when you're standing. You know, some extra muscles are helping, your glutes, your legs. And sitting, uh, standing up nice and tall. So making a conscious effort to do this throughout your day is going to be really powerful for a strong and healthy back. Strong and healthy and happy back, for sure. Just focusing on that for a little bit. Nice work. So try all of those moves. Let's do them all um, one more time, all together, but now you know what they are. So we're going to step back and come up. Let's do like five of these. Four, three, two, 
two, and one. Awesome. Now crossing over, figure four stretch. Let's do six. So we have three on each side. Okay, here we go. Step the left leg, cross it over, sit down, and up. other side. Two, three. Nice work, friends. Four, five, and six. Good job. Now let's do some front to back kicks. Five on each side. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and other side. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job. Now standing up one more time, nice and tall, tucking the hips under. Yes, really thinking about activating the glutes, activating the quads, driving that tailbone down, giving some relief to the low back. Feels really, really good. You know, when it's conscious, we have to think about, you know, when we're doing dishes or doing things around the house, we might be standing in ways that just as our posture is kind of compromising um, some of our, you know, or let's say it's compromising some of our back health here. Hello, hello, I love it. Hi friends, hello, hello. Um, no, it's not in German. We're going to do everything in English today, but I love you guys so much. I think you'll be able to see all the exercises and all the moves. But I'll do my best, okay? All right, so let's get started with our workout. Now that you have some moves and ways to check in with your body throughout the day, um, we will need the chair a little bit, but mainly this way. So I'm going to keep it that way for now. So we're going to go into our first exercise, our first back strengthening exercise, quadruped limb raises. So we're going to get into all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Also from this side too, I'll show you just like this. Pull your belly button into your spine. So there's the first check in with your low back, with your core. Pull your belly button in. Yes, so that way everything is nice and flat, nice and strengthened here. So I'm going to do it this way, though, because I'm going to kick my chair. So we're going to do uh, opposite arm and opposite leg. So left leg comes out, right arm. Left leg, right arm. You see that opposite. Toes are down, thumb is up. Toes are down, thumb is up. Yes, and release. Other side. Switch. Right leg, left arm. Right leg, left arm. And release. Other side. Now let's go with the breath. So we inhale, left leg, right arm. Exhale, release. Good job. Other side. Inhale. Kick the heel back. Lengthen the hands forward. Yes. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. Keep going. I'm going to move this back. I think this view is much more valuable. So you can lengthen, yes, and release, switch, inhale, and exhale, good job, keep going, lengthen and exhale, good job, and exhale, one more each side, and release. Good job. Activate that core. Awesome. And relax. Good job. Super, super good. Super good. We're going to do single arm pullovers. So grab your jar of honey or your canned food or whatever. And we're going to come over to the side like this. So just like, you know, if you were sitting cross-legged, then bring your knees kind of over to the side and resting on your um, palm here. You could also rest on the chair if you wanted, like if you needed some support. You could do something like this. That's cool as well. Just as long as you don't have the back blocking you because we're going to do this with our arm. Okay, so whatever you want. You can be on the chair, you can be on um, the ground here with your palm into the ground. Okay, so with the can in, we're going to reach all the way over and pull down. So working more on the lats, the bigger back muscles that are right here. 
Reaching all the way up and pulling down. Yes. Reaching all the way up and pulling down. So good. All the way to 10. That was four. <clears throat> Five. Six. Seven. Eight, reaching over, yeah, feel the little pull on your lat muscle. Nine, last one, 10, and other side. Switch it over, knees over to the other side. Now my left hand is on the ground, my honey's in my right hand, and we're gonna go over and pull. Good job. Over and pull. Over. And pull. Good job. Five, all the way to ten. Six, seven, eight, reaching it up and over. Good job. Nine, and ten. Good job, awesome. Worked on the lats a little bit, our pull down muscles. Now we're gonna work on our core a little bit more. We're gonna do some jack knives. And I also recommend using the chair as your marker, as your marker for your legs. I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna lay on the back, legs up, legs up, arms up, okay? Push your belly button into the ground. Push your belly button down into the mat. Flatten, <clears throat> excuse me, flatten out your low back to the mat. So don't arch your back up, but really focus on flattening your back down to the mat, okay? Even if you have to kind of like lift up your hips a little bit, push it down into the mat, okay? Reaching your hands up towards your feet if you can. You can always put your hands underneath your low back for support. That's already, that's also possible, but I want you guys to really think about using your core and pressing your low back down to the mat, okay? And then you're gonna lower your legs, lower your arms. That's why I have the chair here as a little support for your feet, okay? So that way it's like a marker of saying like, hey, check in with your abs and your core, come back up. Yes, good job. Three, you can even pick up your neck if you want to, your head. Good job, using that little marker, and coming back up, press your belly button in. Four more, four, three, two, and one. And relax, good job, shake it out. Squeeze your knees into your chest, shake your hips a little bit side to side, and slowly come all the way onto your tummy, onto your belly, okay? We're gonna do Superman pulls, Superman pulls. So we're gonna come down onto the mat, flat onto the mat. Oops, there we go, little chair. Okay, legs all the way out, arms all the way out. We're gonna lift up into a superman or superwoman, pull the elbows out to the side, squeeze, squeeze, looking down, extend, and release back down to the ground. Okay, we're gonna do 10 together. Here we go. Up, pull, Extend and down. Good job. Really good for the lower back. Pull, extend, down. Up, pull, and down. Good job. Four, pull, extend, and down. Five, pull, extend, and down. Six, pull, seven, Good job, almost there, you got it. Eight, strengthening that back. Nice work, nine. And 10. And relax, good job. Pushing your hands into the ground, coming back into child's pose, a little break for your, for your lower back, just for a moment just for a moment, and then slowly coming all the way back up. Oh, breathe it out, you feel that in your 
in your back and in your core, all of that working together. You know, the Supermans are awesome because we activate this part of our core, which most of the time we think abs, core, you know, crunches, all this motion, but really we have to open it up this way to get our whole core, our whole torso here working together. And that's gonna help with our back for sure, strengthening our back. Now we're gonna come into a plank. A low plank position, remembering what we talked about when we were standing, tucking those hips under. Okay, so let's go into a low plank position. Here we go, elbows underneath your shoulders, shoulders, hips, and feet are in a line. Tuck those hips under, activate the glutes, activate the legs, hold it. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Good job. Really good. Probably that plank felt a little bit different than usual. When you think about tucking those hips under. All right, let's grab the chair again. We're going to do some single arm rows, and you have kind of a choice on if you want to be in a plank while you do it, or if you just want to use the chair for support. So you can decide whatever feels good for you, okay? So the, I'll show you the plank version first. So if you want to be in a plank and hold a plank position on the chair, you can. We're going to row in, and then we're going to row out wide. So, so that you guys can see, I'll row in, and then row out wide, okay? So you can do that while in a plank position. So we row in and out wide, right? Or you can just bend over and hold on to the chair, the lower part. You can even come around and hold on to it on the higher part, you know? And then you can just bend over, keeping a nice flat back, and then just row in and out wide, okay? Even if you don't have a can, even if you don't have a jar, you can still create tension and open up the back and squeeze your back muscles and think about your back muscles without needing to have a weight, okay? So this is for everybody. This really is for everybody. Let's do 10 total on each side. So one, two, three, all the way till we go to 10, okay? Here we go. Let's do it. Here we go. One, out wide, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in, good job, nine, wide, and ten, and relax. Other side, other side. Here we go. Getting ready in that plank position or the bent over row position, whatever feels good for you. Here we go, one, out wide, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, last two, nine, and ten, and relax. Good job. Shake it out. Really, really good. So nice. You guys did awesome. You ready to do all those moves one more time, starting with the quadruped limb raises? Let's do it. Slowly coming all the way down to the mat on all fours, alternating arm and leg raises. Yeah, we're going to do ten total. Here we go. Ten. Left leg, right arm. And down, nine, eight, good job, seven, six, good job, five, four, three, two, Last one, and relax. Awesome. Grab your can if you have it. We're going to get ready for the side pullovers. So if you want to be on the chair, you can. If not, we're on the side here. Coming down and pulling down. Or let's say coming over and down and then pulling down. Good job. That was two. Going all the way to ten. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, so good, eight, nine, and ten, 
other side, flip it over, switch arms. You know what to do. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, beautiful, 10, and relax. Jack knives using the chair for your legs, right? Using that as the marker for your legs. Here we go. Legs up, arms up, belly button into spine, back flat down to the mat. You can bring up your upper body if you want to. Let's go lower it down and up, pressing your low back into the mat the whole time. That's what we're thinking about. Two, all the way to 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so good, nine, and 10. Relax, good job. Flipping it over, getting ready for Superman pulls on the belly, right? On the belly. I think I can leave the chair there, that's fine. All right, legs out, arms out, palms down. Here we go, we lift, pull, extend, and down, all the way to 10, two. Three, squeeze, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you got it, last one, 10, and relax. Good job, pushing it back to child pose just for a second, knees out wide. Bringing it back, and then we're gonna go into a low plank for about 30 seconds. So slowly coming down into that low plank position, thinking about what we talked about at the beginning, tucking your hips under, activating the glutes, flattening out the low back, using the legs. Yes, good job, right into it. Last 10, good job. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, so good. Nice and strong core, nice and strong back, I love it. We have our last move, our single arm, narrow to wide row, using the chair and feeling, yeah, free to do a plank if you want to. I'm not doing a plank if you're not. That's not what you want to do today. It's all good. Whatever feels good, okay? Here we go. Ready? In and wide. That's two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Other side. Other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax. Good job. Really, really good. Really, really good, friends. That was awesome. How's your back feeling? How's your core feeling? Grab some water. Get a quick drink if you need it. I'm just going to check the comments here really quick. Uh, good morning, Thomas, Sybil, Madeline, Florian. Awesome. So great that you were here. Hopefully you're feeling, yeah, the activation in your back, if that makes sense. Understanding what it means to tuck that under and flatten out the back. Knowing what that feels like when you're holding a plank and you're drawing the tailbone down, tucking the tailbone under, using the leg muscles and everything so it can all work together. I hope that you guys could feel that difference a little bit, if you will. So, yeah, for those of you that joined from the beginning, you heard me introduce myself, but my name's London Souza. 
fitness and lifestyle transformation coach. I work with people all over the world to get their mind right, their body tight, and love their life and go from crazy busy to crazy happy. And so, yeah, super excited to be here for this workout this morning, a home office workout for a happy and healthy and strong back. So, yeah, like I said, you could do a lot of these movements um, anytime and then always come back to this workout if you want to do it again for some back strengthening. And I want to invite you especially to, um, yeah, if you're looking to um, be in a community with people who are working towards their goals and their dreams and real life, uh, real life strategies to go from crazy busy to crazy happy and get your mind right, your body tight, and love your life, I have what's called the self-love and sweat monthly program. And if you go to lifelikelondon.com forward slash monthly, you can use the code selflove1 at checkout and get your first month for a dollar if you want to join this monthly group where I'm teaching every month for 90 minutes, giving you a lot of workouts, a lot of mindset strategies, a lot of goal setting strategies, nutrition information, nutrition tips to help you live your life full out and feel absolutely amazing. So I'll put the links in the comments down below. Um, but most importantly, I'm just super happy that you showed up this morning to work out together, to sweat together, to strengthen our back together. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. I hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are in this world. Talk to you soon. Bye.